Hi boys and girls, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be reading you a book and then sending two activities along with the story. So um, this book is called What Do You Do With an Idea? And it's written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Bessum. And it's one of my very favorite books. I hope you love it as much as I do. What do you do with an idea? One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I want to admit. I felt better and happier when it was around. I wanted to food. I wanted to play. Actually, I wanted a lot of attention. I grew bigger and we became friends. Showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. Then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew. And so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it would be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big, and then, to think big. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands. Because, it said, it is good to have the ability to see things.
couldn't imagine my life without it. One day, something amazing happened. My idea to change right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. The end. Isn't it so interesting? I think that this character in this book is a lot like you and I. It had an idea, but was a little afraid of what people would think. And so, for my follow-up activity, I have a link here for you to check out. So it says our ideas can change the world in a big way with a little change in the way we think. So on the, on the left side, it says here, a negative thought, it's too hard, I'll never be able to do it. And on the right, you're going to write a positive thought. So the example is, lots of things in life are hard. Sometimes the most important things are the hardest. The next box says, people are going to laugh at me. And over here, you're going to write a positive thought about that. So I was thinking about um, people who are inventors, people who have had ideas and kind of gone with them. And the first I was thinking about was the invention of the light bulb. Did you know that in the 1800s, the, that Thomas Edison and his team of researchers invented the light bulb. Before that, people were working by candlelight at night or by uh, gas lamps. That has changed our lives drastically. Also in 1903, the Wright brothers took their first few flights on a new invention they came up with called the airplane. Nowadays, we can travel around the world in very sophisticated airplanes, but back then it was just an idea. Um, in 1983, Tim Berners-Lee was a man who had an idea to invent the internet. It looked a bit different than the internet that we're used to today, but he had an idea to do that, to invent the internet. And then I was thinking about Naruto. Did you know Naruto is a, is a cartoon character and the artist for Naruto is Masachi Kashimoto and he had an idea to create that character. So there is an activity here. The next, so that was the first thing. You're going to come up with some uh, positive thoughts. And then um, I also have here a little egg, just like in the book. And you're going to draw an idea. So you could come up with a problem. So for example, um, I dislike tying my shoes. So I could come up with an idea to invent a shoe tying machine. Or maybe you have um, an idea for ways to keep waste, plastic waste down. A lot of foods are packaged in plastic packaging and maybe it bothers you to have so much garbage and trash. So maybe you could think of an idea of a way that you could cut down on some of that. I was thinking about some art that I'd like to do. And so I came up with an idea too. I have some seashells that I collected and some stones that I collected. And I also have some wire. So my idea here um, is to take some wire and some of those things that I have. I'm gonna try to zoom in on there. Oops, I better stop with the screen sharing. because That will be tricky to see. There you go. So I have drawn my idea for um, wire wrap jewelry. And that's something I could gift to a friend or something I could sell in my spare time or my free time. So I can't wait to hear about your ideas and I hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.